Ken had $15 more than Lisa at first. After Ken gave some of his money to Lisa, he had $21 less than Lisa. How much money did Ken give to Lisa? So what we can do is we can draw a model for what Ken had compared to Lisa at first. Ken had $15 more than Lisa at first. So we can draw Ken's part of the model as being longer by $15. And this is Lisa's part of the model at first. Then Ken gives some money to Lisa and he had $21 less than Lisa. So we know that he definitely gave more than $15 to Lisa because if he just gave this $15, we take this $15, we transfer it to Lisa, Lisa should have $15 more than Ken. But that's not what she has. She has more than that compared to Ken. Okay, so we know that he gave more than $15. He probably gave an amount like this. We can shade it and transfer it to Lisa. So now Lisa has the $15 plus the added amount that was given. Okay, this is $15. This is an unknown amount. And now the difference between them is $21. Why do we know this about this part and this part? They are actually the same. So in other words, $21 is made up of $15 plus, let's call this one unit and one unit, $15 plus two units. So what is two units? Two units will be equal to $21 minus $15, which is $6. So now we can find the value of one unit. One unit would be equal to $6 divided by two, which is equal to $3. So now we know that one unit here is $3. We want to know how much money Ken gave to Lisa. And Ken gave this whole amount here, which is $15 plus one unit. This part is $15. This part is one unit. So how much is that? That would be $15 plus the value of one unit, which is $3. And this is equal to $18. So Ken gave $18 to Lisa.